Hey guys, I hope you are well. If you have not practiced with me before, then I am Amy and I will be your yoga teacher for the day for this heart opening, fun, creative, maybe a little bit spicy in places, vinyasa flow. You will need two blocks for this practice. If you don't have blocks, that's fine. You could grab hold of some books or some cushions, maybe if you have a bolster, as we will be starting this practice in a supported fish pose. So setting up for a supported fish, if you do have blocks, placing one block on its high, no, not the highest setting, the medium setting, lengthways on the mat, another block on its lowest setting, width way, the width, can't speak today, width ways across the mat. Then the block that's on its middle setting will nestle in between your shoulder blades, lay down over the block, and the second block is there to support your head. So take a little moment to get set up, get comfortable. Like I said, you could have a cushion underneath the back, you could have books, anything to just create a little bit of lift across the chest. With the legs and the feet, you could come into Supta Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together and letting the knees drop out wide, or you could extend the legs out long towards the bottom edge of the mat. Take a few big breaths here in silence, just fill the lungs, fill the chest with breath, create space and opening through the lungs, the ribs, the collarbones. Release any tension that you're holding on to in the face, the jaw, the shoulders. Think about releasing that tension into the earth, letting it go. Feel supported by the surface beneath you. Feel that stability so that you can then soften and relax into the here and the now. Notice how your heart space, how your chest, your shoulders, notice how it's feeling today. Is it feeling open to begin with at, this, at the start of this practice or is it feeling a bit tight and closed off? Just bring that awareness to whatever's going on in the body right now. There's no right or wrong answers, just a moment to connect and check in. Take one more big breath in. And one more big breath out. Carefully lift yourself up off the blocks, set them over to one side. Roll back down onto your back, hug both knees into the chest, bring the hands onto the shins, just find a light grip here. Have a little rock from side to side, maybe move the knees around in circles, either taking them together in the same direction or taking them away from one another in opposite directions. Give the lower back a little bit of love. Hug both knees into the chest, then drop both knees over to one side. Doesn't matter which side, find a supine twist. Knees can be stacked or staggered. Take a big breath into the side of the body and a big breath out. Roll back through center, maybe have a little circle on the spine as you make your way over to the other side. Same options apply on this side, take whatever variation feels good. Bring it back to centre, hug both knees into the chest, start to rock yourself forwards and backwards. Rock the entire length of the spine, take as many rocks as feels good. Eventually bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Stack shoulders over elbows, over wrists. 
Think about lifting the ribs up and away from the hips as you soften the shoulders down and away from the ears. Tuck the chin into the chest ever so slightly to find some length down the back of the neck. As you breathe in, bring the hands onto the knees if they're not there already. Pull the heart through, draw the shoulder blades together, open through the collarbones. As you breathe out, draw the chin into the chest, draw the shoulder blades apart, round through the spine. Big breath in, find some lift, some opening. Big breath out, round it in. Inhale, create space. Exhale, move into that space. Big breath in, bring it forward. Big breath out, take it back. Now either carry on moving forwards and backwards or start to move the spine around in circles. Pressing it towards the back of the room, out to the side, dipping it forwards. Keep it going. Using the hands and the knees to help you pull and push yourself around. Taking it nice and slow, finding the fluidity. If you're moving in circles, switch direction of the circles. Take one more. And then bring yourself back up, head over heart, over hips, maybe without using the hands to help. Switch the cross of the legs so the opposite leg is in front. Take a big breath in, reach both arms up to the sky, spread the fingers, and a big breath out. Bring the fingertips to the mat in front of you. Walk the hands forward, fold down over the legs. Maybe press the hands into the earth to help you draw the shoulder blades back. Keep the hands grounded on the mat. Start to roll forwards onto the knees, uncross the ankles, maybe lengthen the stance ever so slightly so you've got the shoulders over the elbows, over the wrists, the hips over the knees, spread through the fingers. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, open. Exhale to round. Now once again, maybe keep it going forwards and backwards like this, or maybe move the spine around in circles, dipping it down, pushing it out to the sides, bending the elbows as you go. Maybe get the hips involved, giving them a little wiggle. Any movement that's calling to you, anything that feels good. Wherever you're at, take one more big breath in and one more big breath out. Then we will all meet back in a neutral tabletop position. Ground down through the left hand, kick the left toes out to the left hand side, extend the right leg towards the bottom of the mat, sweep the right arm forward, breathe in here and breathe out. Push off the left hand, lift the left hand off the mat, slide the right hand down the right leg, reach the left arm over towards the right hand side, breathe in, breathe out, bring the left hand down, reach the right arm forwards and keep it going backwards and forwards. Right hand down, right leg, left arm up and over, left hand to the earth, right arm reaches forward. One more time, breathe in, lift up, slide the right hand down. As you breathe out, place the left hand on the mat, lift the right leg to hover so it's parallel to the floor, reach the right arm forward, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze the elbow and the knee towards one another. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. Three more times, breathe in to reach, breathe out to squeeze. Last two, inhale, exhale. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze it in. Either bring the right hand onto the right knee and open the hips that way, or bring the right piece, fingers and thumb around the right big toe. Start to straighten that leg out to the side, then up to the sky. You can have as much of a bend in the knee as feels good. Do what works for you, do what works for your body. 
Wherever you're at, release the grip on the toes or the knee, but keep the leg lifted. Step the right foot over and off the left-hand side of the mat. Push the heart up to the sky for a baby wild thing. Breathe in here, breathe out. Sit down on the left heel, reach the right arm to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift everything up, sweep the right arm forward. Exhale, sit yourself down. One more time, breathe in, sweep it up. Breathe out, sit yourself down. Maybe shimmy back onto your mat if you were edging off it. Facing the back of the mat, sole of the left foot meets the right inner thigh. Breathe in, sweep both arms up. Breathe out, fold down over the leg. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, ripple the spine back down. One more like that. Inhale, wave it up. Exhale, wave it down. Inhale, lift yourself up. Walk the hands over to the left hand side, taking them past that left knee, all the way to the front of the mat. Spin onto the toes of the right foot. Draw the left knee in towards the nose. Right knee is lifted off the mat. Tap the left knee down to the mat, open the chest. Squeeze the left knee into the nose, round through the spine. Tap it down, squeeze it in. Tap and squeeze. One more time, tap and squeeze. This time tap the left knee to the mat and then drop it down. Lift the right leg, kick it up to the sky, open the chest, breathe in and breathe out. Drop the right knee underneath the right hip, tabletop position. Second side, kick the right toes straight out to the right hand side, extend the left leg towards the bottom of the mat, reach the left arm forwards, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift up off the right hand, slide the left hand down the left leg, reach the right arm forwards, breathe out, bring the right hand down, reach the left arm forward. Inhale, lift up, slide it down, Exhale, right hand down, left arm forward. One more time, bring it back, big breath into the side of the body. Breathe out, bring the right hand down, lift the left leg to hover, reach the left arm forwards. Breathe out, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze everything in. Three more, big breath in. Big breath out, last two, inhale exhale one more time reach squeeze and hold here either bring the left hand onto the left knee or the left piece fingers and thumb around the left big toe maybe work the left leg in the direction of straight take a big breath in and breathe out release with control keep the left leg lifted and then step it behind the right leg over to the right hand side. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, sit on the right heel, sweep the arm back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit down. One more time, push the heart to the sky, lift the hips. Exhale, sit down, face the back of the mat. Sole of the right foot meets the left inner thigh. Left toes point up to the sky. Big breath in, reach up. Big breath out, fold down over the leg. Inhale, ripple the spine up. Exhale, melt it down. One more big breath in, wave. Big breath out, soften back down. Walk the hands over to the right hand side, take them past the knee, all the way to the top of the mat, spin onto the left toes, squeeze the right knee into the nose. Exhale, tap the knee to the mat. Squeeze it into the nose. Drop it down, two more times, squeeze and tap, squeeze and drop the right knee down, kick the left leg up to the sky, open the heart, draw the shoulder blades together, drop the left knee down to the mat. Keeping one long line from the crown of the head to the tailbone, see if you can bring the hands to the heart centre, a big challenge for the core here, try to keep the knees underneath the hips. Tuck under the toes, lift the knees to hover, sit down on the heels, toe balance. Find length through the spine, find lift. 
draw the heels together, open the knees out to the side, maybe fall over like I just did. <laughs> you can have the hands on the mat, you can have them at heart center, whatever feels best. Bring the right hand on to the right knee, reach the left arm over towards the right hand side, breathe into the left side of the body. Left hand rests on the left knee, right arm reaches up and over, big breath in. Breathe out, right hand on to right knee. Bring the hands to the heart, bring the knees to meet one another, drop the knees under the hips, plant the hands underneath the shoulders. Come onto the fingertips, so the hands are like little tents. It's like you've got cupcakes underneath your hands and you don't want to squish them. Maybe stay here, maybe tuck under the toes and lift the knees to hover a few inches off the mat. Keep the core nice and strong, so engaging the belly, draw the navel to the spine, find one line from crown to tail, breathe in, breathe out. Maybe for an extra challenge, lift the left toes to hover off the mat, squeeze the heel into the glute, drop the left toes back down, draw the right heel in towards the right glute, drop the toes back down, bring the palms of the hands back to the earth, hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Maybe walk the hands and the feet a little bit further away from one another. Take a few breaths to do whatever you like to do to settle into your first downward dog. Maybe bend and straighten the legs. Maybe wiggle the shoulders, maybe move the hips. On your next breath in, wave yourself forwards to a high plank, rounding through the spine as you shift your weight forwards. Then the knees, so they're hovering a few inches above the mat. Press the chest back towards the thighs and then straighten through the legs, rippling it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, wave yourself forward, round the spine. Exhale, ripple it back. Inhale, round it forwards. Exhale, wave it back. One more time, forwards and backwards. This time, inhale, open the heart as you come forward, bend the elbows, snake your way through to an upward facing dog, and then round the spine as you make your way back. Bend the elbows, come super close to the floor, scoop your way through, come onto the tops of the feet. Maybe stay on the tops of the feet until the very last second as you round it back. One more time, scoop it through, big inhale, wave it back, big exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, press the chest back to the thighs. Exhale, step, hop, float your way to the top of the mat. Big breath in, flat back, lift the chest. Big breath out, fold down over the legs. Inhale, lift, create space. Exhale, fold down, move into that space. One more time, big breath in. Big breath out. Find a little baby micro bend in the knees as you breathe in, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, gather the hands together at heart center. Maybe press the thumbs into the sternum and take a few breaths here, just noticing your heartbeat, noticing your breath. Notice the contrast between the soles of the feet grounding you into the earth and the crown of the head lifting you up towards the sky. Breathe in, reach both arms all the way up. Breathe out, bend the knees, fold down over the legs. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, plant the hands. Step one foot, then the other, back to plank. Lower all the way down onto your belly as you breathe out. Inhale, Cobra Pose, untuck the toes, lift the chest. Exhale, make your way back to Downward Facing Dog. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale to prepare, press the chest back. Exhale, step, hop or float your way forward. 
Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. This time, lift the heels as you come up, balance on the tiptoes. Keep the heels lifted as you exhale and fold back down over the legs. Fingertips meet the earth. Inhale, flat back, bring the hands onto the shins. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back to plank, this time maybe lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, make your way forward. Inhale all the way up to standing, lift the heels. Exhale, keep the heels lifted, fall down over the legs. Inhale, add Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Step it back or hop back through a Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full cycle of breath here. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, make your way forward. This time, inhale, halfway lift. Lift the heels. Keep the heels lifted as you exhale and fold. Keep the heels lifted as you inhale. Come all the way up to standing. Keep the heels lifted as you exhale and fold. Inhale, flat back. Heels are still lifted and maybe you're falling everywhere. This time, plant the fingertips on the mat. Step one foot, then the other. Back to a high plank on the fingertips. Hold here for an extra moment. Maybe lift the right toes to hover, then draw the right heel in towards the glute. Place the right foot back down. Maybe lift the left toes to hover, draw the heel in and place it back down. Bring the palms of the hands onto the mat. Take it through a vinyasa if you would like. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Drop down onto the knees, bring them as wide as the mat. Big toes to touch, sit the hips on the heels. Plant the left hand behind the left hip. Reach the right arm forward. Breathe in, lift the hips away from the heels. Sweep the right arm up and over. Breathe out, sit down, sweep the right arm in front. Plant the right hand behind the right hip. Lift the hips, sweep the left arm up and over. Keep it going from side to side. Find the fluidity, breathe in as you open the chest. Breathe out as you sit yourself down. Inhale, create space. Exhale, soften into that space. Keep it going. Let it feel good. Let it feel like a dance. Do one more in each direction. Sit yourself back on the heels, bring the knees to touch, tuck under the toes, lift the knees to hover off the mat, once again landing in our toe balance. This time, maybe instead of sitting down on the heels, you might lift the hips to hover a few inches above the heels, squeeze the knees together, strengthening through the legs here. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Interlace all 10 fingers. In fact, interlace nine fingers. Point the index fingers out. Point the index fingers up to the sky. Imagine like there's a wall behind you. Keep your spine nice and tall as you come slowly, 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 all the way up to standing. Keep the heels lifted, breathe in, squeeze the biceps by the ears, reach the fingertips up. Breathe out, drop the heels, gather the hands at heart center. Inhale, sweep both arms all the way up. Exhale, bend the knees, fold down over the legs. Inhale, add Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, plant the hands, walk your way forward into a high plank. Maybe take it through a vinyasa. 
big breath in, up dog or cobra, big breath out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, sweep the right leg up towards the sky, bend the hip, bend the hip, bend the knee, open the hip, take some big circles with the right knee. Switch direction of the circles. Make sure you're grounding down evenly through both hands, not collapsing into the left shoulder. Breathe in, straighten the right leg, sweep it up to the sky. Breathe out, shift the weight forward, tap the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, squeeze the knee to the nose. Tap it to the mat, to the nose, to the mat, to the nose, to the mat, to the nose. Step that foot through in between the hands. Front knee over front ankle, breathe in, sweep both arms up, high crescent lunge. Breathe out here. Breathe in, hinge the body forward, reach the arms towards the front of the mat. Breathe out, bend the back knee so it's hovering above the earth. Squeeze the elbows in towards the ribs, cactus the arms. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach the arms forward. Exhale, cactus dip. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, bend and squeeze. Two more times, inhale to reach. Exhale to squeeze. Last time, big breath in. Big breath out. This time, inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, gather the hands together at heart center. Bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the knee into the elbow, the elbow into the knee. Option here to find a bind underneath the right thigh, bringing the left arm behind the back, the right arm underneath. Imagine like you could push that left heel towards an invisible wall behind you, extend that left leg. Unwind from the bind, inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down onto the earth. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Roll onto the outside edge of the right foot, stack the left foot on top of the right. Reach the left arm forward, breathe in. Breathe out, dip the hips down, Reach the left arm towards the back of the mat. Breathe in, lift the hips, sweep the left arm forward. Breathe out, tap the hips down, reach the left arm back. One more time, inhale to lift up. Exhale, drop it down. This time, inhale, reach up, plant the left hand under the left shoulder, shift forward onto the tiptoes, and then maybe lift the right foot to hover, Draw the heel in towards the glute. Bend the elbows, lower halfway. Keep that right knee lifted, draw the heel in. Open the chest, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sweep the right leg high, three-legged dog. Drop the right toes over to the left hand side, wild thing. Sweep the right arm forward, open through the chest. Big breath in. Big breath out, tap the hips down, sweep the right arm towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lift the hips up, sweep the right arm forward. Exhale, drop it down. One more time, breathe in, sweep, lift. Breathe out, sit yourself down, bring the right elbow towards the inside of the right knee, bring the left arm behind the back, and then maybe find a bind around that right knee. Twisting towards the left hand side, opening the left shoulder, flexing the left toes up towards the sky. With the bind around that right foot, lift the right foot to hover off the mat, deliver the right foot to the outside of the left knee, inhale, sweep both arms up, exhale, twist towards the right knee, Maybe hook that left elbow towards the outside of the right knee and then straighten the left arm. Maybe you can tuck the left fingertips underneath the sole of the right foot. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. 
Unwind from the twist, walk the hands over towards the left hand side, keep them traveling towards the front of the mat, pop onto the left toes, wrap the right leg around the left foot and eagle leg plank. Roll onto the inside edge of the left foot, ground through the right hand, sweep the left arm forward. Plant the left hand, spin onto the outside edge of the left foot, reach the right arm forwards. Plant the right hand under the right shoulder, come onto the left tiptoes, squeeze the right knee into the nose, step it back to meet the left, work through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, bend the knees, press the chest back towards the thighs. Exhale, step, hop, jump, float, land your way in a malasana at the top of the mat. Press the elbows into the knees, the knees into the elbows, open through the hips, lift the chest and take a few big inhales and big exhales here. Interlace the fingers, take some circles with the wrist going in one direction and the other direction, the way that feels a bit weird. Press the palms of the mat towards the front of the room, press them up towards the ceiling, draw the shoulder blades together, pull the heart through. Unwind the fingertips, plant the fingertips on the mat, step the right foot, then the left foot back into our fingertip plank, breathe here. Maybe lift the right toes to hover, squeeze the heel into the glute. Tap the right knee to the right elbow, to the left elbow, to the left wrist, to the right wrist. Back to the right elbow, back to plank. Lift the left leg to hover, squeeze the heel into the glute. Tap the left elbow, the right elbow, right wrist, left wrist, left elbow, back to plank. Drop the palms of the hands, work through a vinyasa. Breathe in, breathe out. Downward facing dog, big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, left leg up to the sky, open the knee. This time, open the knee, bend the knee, <laughs> bend the knee, open the hip. Take some big circles with the knee. So the last time I said, bend the hip, and this time I said, open the knee, got it the wrong way both times. Switch direction of the circles. Inhale, straighten the legs, sweep it up. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Big breath in, sweep it up. Big breath out, squeeze it into the nose, to the mat to the nose, to the mat, to the nose, to the mat, to the nose. Step that foot through between the hands. Take a big breath into the belly, into the lungs. Sweep the arms up, high crescent lunge. Exhale here. Inhale, reach the arms forward, hinge the body 45 degrees. Exhale, cactus the arms, dip the back knee. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, cactus dip. Three more, big breath in. Big breath out. Last two, inhale. Exhale. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, hinge forward, reach the arms in front. Exhale. Gather the hands at heart centre, right elbow to the outside of the left knee, spin into the twist. Maybe find the bind if it felt good on the other side. Unwind from the bind, big breath in, reach both arms up. Big breath out, bring the hands to frame the left foot. Step it back to plank. 
roll onto the outside edge of the left foot, reach the right arm forward, big inhale. Exhale, dip the left hip down, sweep the right arm back. Inhale, lift the hips, reach the right arm up and over. Exhale, dip. One more, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, come forward, plant the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Draw the left heel in towards the left glute. Shift onto the right tiptoes, lower halfway. Pull through to upward dog, keep that left knee off, keep the heel drawing in. Exhale, three-legged downward dog, and then wild thing. Drop the left toes over to the right-hand side, push the heart up, sweep the left arm forward, inhale. Exhale, dip the hips down, face the back of the mat. Two more, big breath in, big breath out. One more time, inhale. Exhale, sit yourself down. Left knee, left foot in line with right knee. Big breath in, reach both arms up. Big breath out, bring the left elbow to the inside of the left knee. Wrap the arm around the front of the shin, bring the right arm behind the back, find the bind. I added this uh, plant here today for a nice bit of decor, but I must say it's definitely been getting in the way. So I'm not sure if it will be making a repeat appearance in my next video, unfortunately. Keep the grip around the left knee, lift it to hover. Plant the sole of the left foot to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, wrap the right arm around the left knee. Maybe hook the elbow, then straighten the right arm so the fingertips can nestle underneath the sole of the left foot. Unwind from the twist, breathe in, reach the arms up, breathe out, walk the hands over to the right hand side, plant them at the front of the mat, shift onto the right toes, wrap the left leg around the right for eagle legs, spin onto the inside edge of the right foot, reach the right arm forward, plant the right hand down, spin onto the outside edge of the right foot, reach the left arm forward, plant the left hand down, squeeze the left knee in towards the nose, Step the left foot to meet the right, work through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale. Big exhale. Drop the elbows down for dolphin. Maybe walk the feet in a little bit closer. Inhale here. Exhale, maybe lift both elbows at the same time for downward dog. Drop them down to dolphin, dog, dolphin, dog, dolphin, dog, dolphin, dog. Keep it going. For five, four, three, two, one, drop the elbows down for dolphin. Option one, stay here. Option two, have a little bit of pincher play time, maybe. You might just play around with lifting one leg to hover straight up to the sky and then placing it back down. Maybe lifting the other leg, placing it back down. And if you're confident with pincher, maybe you might make your way up into pinch of myrasana. Maybe take yourself on over to a wall if you would like. Have a little bit of practice. Any variations are welcome. When you're ready, see if you can release your way down with control. Drop the knees down, bring them together, heels together, find a narrow leg child's pose. Option to reach the arms towards the back of the mat, bring the hands around the heels, drop the forehead down onto the mat, 
maybe pop a block underneath the forehead. If you're folded over the legs, bring yourself back upright. Bring the hands either side of the thighs. You might need to play around with how far forward or how far backward they are. Firstly, just see if you can lift the knees off the mat. Keep the feet grounded for now. Keep it going for three, two, one. And then this time, see if you can lift everything off the mat. Maybe do it five times. For me, this is four and five. Now, even more of a challenge, you could sit off to one side and then swing the legs straight in front of you into a cross-legged position or ground down through the hands, lift everything off, cross the ankles, swing them into a cross-legged seat. Maybe that worked, maybe it didn't, doesn't matter either way. Roll onto the knees, plant the hands, step or jump your way back through a vinyasa. Landing with bent elbows. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, sweep the right leg high. Big breath out, squeeze the knee in, step it straight through between the hands. Inhale, sweep both arms up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, step onto the right leg, lift the left foot to hover. See if you can bring the left leg in line with the right leg, but keep that left foot hovering. And don't just collapse into that right hip. Find the compression in the left hip. Imagine like you could plug the left leg into the left hip, squeeze it up and in. Now keeping the upper body nice and tall, so not leaning forward, see how far back behind you can kick that left leg just using the strength of the left glute. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the hamstring, breathe in breathe out. Now kick that leg straight out in front of you, this time using the strength of the quad to lift it straight in front. See how high you can lift it. Flex the toes back towards the face without leaning the upper body back. Now see how far you can kick that leg straight out to the left hand side without leaning over to the right. My leg is quivering a little bit. Kick it straight back in front of you, then cross the left ankle over the top of the right knee, gather the hands at heart center, bring the elbows onto the left leg, standing pigeon, flex the left foot. Bring the left elbow to the sole of the left foot, find the twist. And then option here to play around with grasshopper pose. Carry on walking the hands over towards the right hand side. Bring the sole of the left foot onto the back of the left elbow. Start to lower yourself down, lift the right toes off the mat, kick them out to the left hand side. Plant that right foot back down, come out in reverse, land back in. Whoop, a standing pigeon and I'm wobbling everywhere. Now, maybe play around with a flying pigeon, bringing the hands to the mat in front of you, bringing that left leg above the elbows, hooking the toes around the outside of the right elbow. Maybe you lift the right leg to hover. Squeeze the right knee back in. Cross the length, left ankle over the front of the right leg, fold down over the legs. Walk the fingertips over towards the right hand side, bump the hips over to the left. Bring it back through center over to the other side. Bring it back through center. Halfway lift, flat back, hands at heart center. Bend into the knees, keep the ankles crossed. Lower yourself down to a cross-legged seat, maybe without using the hands to help. Maybe you made it, maybe you didn't. 
We're in a cross-legged seat with the left leg in front, then option to come into half lotus. Maybe without using the hands, bring the left foot onto the top of the right thigh, shimmy into place. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, right hand onto the left knee. Left hand comes behind and maybe grabs hold of that left foot, finding a half bind. Unwind from the bind, spin yourself back forward. Cross the left ankle in front of the right. Roll onto the knees, step, hop, jump, float through a vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, squeeze the knee to the nose, step through. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, step forward onto the left foot, squeeze the right femur bone into the right hip socket. Right foot is hovering as high off the floor as you can, even with the right foot in line with the left. Hands up to the sky. Now, how far behind you can you kick the right leg while keeping the upper body aligned? Keeping the upper body straight, how far in front of you can you kick the right leg? Flex the toes back towards you, engage the core. And maybe if you've not got a wall in the way, see how far out to the right hand side you can kick the right leg. Kick it straight back in front of you, cross right ankle over left knee, hands to heart center, elbows onto the legs, shoulders back, heart forwards. Right elbow meets the sole of the right foot, press it in, twist. Then maybe play around with grasshopper on this side. I'm just gonna shimmy a little bit further across. Walk the hands over to the left, bring the sole of the right foot up onto the back of the right arm. Maybe you lift the left leg and kick it towards the front of the mat. Bend the elbows. Come out in reverse, drop the left foot down, spin yourself back forwards. Reshuffle yourself if you need to, that was not very elegant of me, but it doesn't always have to be. Maybe play around with flying pigeon, bringing the hands straight out in front of you, hooking the right leg on the back of the arms, kicking the left leg straight out behind you. Come out in reverse, squeeze the left knee in, then cross the right ankle over the front of the left, fold down over the legs, take a few deep breaths here. Walk the hands to the left, bump the hips to the right, breathe in, breathe out. Walk the fingertips through center, take them over to the right, hips to the left, big inhale, big exhale. Bring it through center, inhale, flat back, hands to heart then maybe the hands stay at the heart as you sit yourself down into a cross-legged seat with the right foot in front of the left. Maybe the hands stay at heart center as you wiggle the right foot onto the top of the left thigh, finding half lotus. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist towards the right knee. Maybe bring the right hand behind and grab onto the left foot Draw the right shoulder open, breathe into the chest, into the belly. Spin to face forward, cross the right ankle over the front of the left, roll onto the knees, maybe jump through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog for a big deep breath, in and out. Ripple your way forward into a high plank, lower all the way down onto the belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, lift the chest, squeeze the elbows in, draw the shoulder blades together. 
exhale lower back down inhale ripple your way up head and neck are last to lift exhale soften one more time breathe into lift and breathe out to fold down bring the right arm towards the center of the mat come onto the right forearm bend the left heel in sweep the left hand around for the inside or the outside of the left foot see what feels best reach the right arm towards the front of the mat then breathe in lift everything up kick the hand into the foot the foot into the hand see how much you can lift use the strength of the spine to lift a little bit higher big inhale and big exhale release with control soften everything down stack one hand on top of the other to create a little pillow for your head to rest on and take a few deep breaths here. This time lift up, bring the left hand to the center of the mat, bring the right hand onto the inside or the outside edge of the right foot and then reach the left arm forward, take a big breath in, kick the foot into the hand, lift everything up maybe smile inhale kick a tiny little bit higher exhale hold and then release with control drop down onto the mat stack the head on the hands and take a few deep breaths maybe give the hips a little wiggle Slide the hands in line with the ribs, draw the belly button up towards the spine, engage the core, press yourself into a tabletop, walk the hands towards the knees, stack the head over the heart, over the hips, kneeling on the shins. Reach the hands behind you for the backs of the heels, push the heart up to the sky, draw the shoulder blades together for camel pose. You don't need to drop the head back, you can keep the chin tucking in towards the chest if that feels more supportive on the neck and the spine do what works best for you now maybe stay here or maybe reach the right arm towards the front of the mat and then reach the left arm towards the front of the mat it's hard to speak while doing this and then sit yourself down on your heels let the hands rest on the thighs, palms of the hands either up for a sense of receptivity or down for a sense of grounding. Maybe bring the awareness into the chest and just notice some energy there, some space. Notice how your breath feels. Just notice whatever's going on right now. Bring the hands onto the heels, start to lower the forehead down towards the mat, melt the belly down over the thighs, then start to lift the hips away from the heels, roll onto the crown of the head, draw the shoulder blades apart from one another, rabbit pose. sit back down on the heels lift yourself back upright walk the fingertips forward roll down onto the belly extend the right arm straight out to the side so the hand is out to the right in line with the right shoulder bend the left heel in towards the left glute then roll over towards that right arm dropping the left foot down onto the earth opening the hips opening the shoulders maybe play around with the position of that right arm until you find the best stretch the best sensation
roll back onto the belly, squeeze the left knee up and in towards the left elbow, drop the hips down for half frog pose. You could stay on the forearms, you could come down onto the belly, onto the chest. Another option here is to pop a block underneath the left knee and you might find that actually intensifies the stretch as it increases the angle in that hip. So you might find it's more intense up on the forearms or it might be more intense down on the arms or it might not be intense at all. For me this feels pretty chill. I usually sleep in a position like this so my body's quite used to this shape but if you're not used to this shape it might feel like a lot. So whether it feels like a lot, breathe into it. Whether it feels like nothing, connect to the breath, breathe into it. If you're down on the belly, press back up onto the arms, lift the left elbow off the mat, thread the right arm underneath the left, place the right hand on the left knee, roll onto your back, landing in a supine twist. You could have the left elbow bent, you could straighten it out to the side. If you notice that the left shoulder is lifted off the mat, you might press into the right elbow and use that to help you spin that left shoulder blade a little bit further down, create a little bit more space across the chest. Option here to bend the right knee, grab hold of the right foot with the left hand and then maybe straighten the right leg and grab hold of that foot. Straighten the left leg and grab hold of the left leg with the right foot. With opposite hands on opposite feet, carry on rolling onto your back, cross the left knee in front of the right, draw the heels in towards the body. So it's like a gomukhasana cow face, but down on our backs here. Release the grip on the feet, unravel the legs, extend them out long interlace the fingers, press the arms up, stretch, inhale, exhale, maybe gracefully, maybe not, roll back over onto your belly, second side, extend the left arm straight out to the left hand side, bend the right heel in, roll towards that left arm, have a little moment to play around the location of the arm and the foot, see what feels best, Roll back onto the belly, bring the right knee with you, draw it up and in towards the right elbow, the right armpit. Maybe come onto the forearms, maybe onto the belly, maybe play around with props, whatever feels best. And just settle in, breathe. Breathe into something, breathe into nothing, breathe into the here and the now. So just because you're not necessarily feeling a super intense stretch or sensation doesn't mean that this pose is not nourishing or working wonders for you and maybe it is intense and just because it's maybe a bit uncomfortable again that doesn't mean it's not doing good things so it works both ways.
go down on your belly, come onto the forearms, lift the right elbow, thread the left arm underneath, place it on the right knee, roll onto your back. Again, maybe press into the left elbow this time to help you swivel the right shoulder blade down onto the mat. Bend that bottom leg, grab hold of the foot with the right hand. Straighten the top leg, grab hold of the foot with the left hand. Carry on rolling onto your back, right knee crosses over the top of the left knee, hands are on the opposite feet, draw the heels in towards the body, supine gomukhasana. Unravel the legs, hug both knees into the chest, any final little rocks, any final little movements. Maybe a happy baby, if that's what you like to finish your practice with. Anything goes, anything that feels good today. And then make your way into your final resting shape. Any shape that you would like to make that will feel comfortable and safe and relaxed for a good few minutes of stillness and silence and you might be thinking I've done my yoga for the day I can get up now I don't need to do this lying down bit I would encourage you to just hang around with us for a few more moments without the stillness and the connection to the breath our yoga practice is not complete it's not a yoga practice it's just doing some movements so Please join me, even if there is resistance, especially if there is resistance. Often the things that we are most resistant to are the things that we need the most. So really gift yourself a few minutes to just slow down. You saw how long this class was going to be and you set aside that time. So you have the time for these few minutes to be still. If your mind is busy and wandering and full of thoughts, that's normal. You might bring one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly, giving you things to focus on, noticing your heartbeat, noticing your breathing. Maybe notice the feeling of the mat beneath you. Finding those anchor points to ground you into the here and the now. Endlessly returning to the body, to the breath, from one thought to another. If you are lucky enough to have a bit more time to set aside for stillness and silence, then feel free to put me on pause. Take as much time as you want, as much time as you need. 
you're ready to move on, start to find some movement. I'm sure you all know what kind of movements you like to bring yourself back out of your practice. Find those movements, take those movements, take what your body is asking for right now. No need to rush. The next place we will meet is back in a comfortable seated position. Finishing our practice with three deep releasing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth as you're ready, big breath in. Let something go, sigh it out. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, fill those lungs, fill the chest. Let something go. For the rest of your day, I hope that you think peaceful thoughts. I hope that you speak peaceful words and I hope that you feel peace in your heart. Thank you so much for choosing to share your practice with me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really, really be grateful if you could take a second to like this video so that I know you enjoyed it and that I should make more like it. Give it a thumbs up. No, that's the same thing. <laughs> Liking it and giving it a thumbs up is the same thing. I'm obviously like yoga brain mode. Leave a comment, that's the other thing. Leave a comment telling me what you thought of it. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so already. I should probably stop talking now before I say anything else that doesn't make sense other than have a great day and hopefully I'll see you soon.